Welcome in to Seahawks Today, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Appreciate you joining us as we recap the first two days of the 2022 NFL Draft. And it is great report time for your Seattle Seahawks. Let's go ahead and look at the first four selections for the Seahawks in the draft through the first three rounds as the Seahawks got things started off with a bang at number nine taking offensive tackle Charles Cross from Mississippi State in the second round. They had back-to-back picks at 40 and 41 with edge rusher Boy Maffe from Minnesota, followed by Kenneth Walker III, the running back from Michigan State. In the third round, they followed that up with a selection of offensive tackle Abraham Lucas, the second offensive tackle they've taken in that uh, 72nd pick. Here is more on Abraham Lucas in 12 games last year. Did not give up a single sack. And the body frame's incredible. 6'6", 315 pounds. You would have to think that Cross will play the left tackle spot and Lucas will slide in at the right tackle spot on that offensive line. And he's a guy that had a first-round grade from a lot of folks. So to find him in the third round, quite the gym, a good find there from John Schneider and Pete Carroll. The second round, Kenneth Walker the third, really good running back at Michigan State. This past year had over 1,600 rushing yards, 18 touchdowns, was unbelievable, helping lead Michigan State to one of their best seasons they've had in quite some time, including a win over their arch rival, the Michigan Wolverines, in 2021 and with his combo of power and speed he's the perfect running back of what you're looking for in this day and age in the National Football League and with an aging Chris Carson and Rashad Penny's injury issues you would have to think that he's going to get playing time pretty quickly as well. Also in the second round for the Seahawks Boy Maffe is picked up the edge rusher from Minnesota and This year's class was so loaded at the edge rusher position that a guy like Mafe here most years would probably be a first-round pick, but because of so many options to go with there, he slides to pick number 40 in the second round, a good find for the Seahawks for an edge rusher who had seven sacks in 2021, another good player, another good player. Big Ten product, the Seahawks find. And then, of course, there's Charles Cross, who the Seahawks picked with the number nine selection in round number one yesterday. And Cross, we're looking at a guy who played 12 games last year, just allowed two sacks, and was as high as number four on some draft boards uh, across the country. And some people think that he's the best offensive tackle in this draft. So, So far, so good, it looks like, for the Seattle Seahawks. Now, I want you guys to weigh in. What do you think the Seahawks have done so far through two days? What would be the grade that you would give the Seahawks at this point in the draft? Here's your chance to weigh in and tell us in the comments section whether it's A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know what you guys think. You'll get an ad break here in just a second. Take advantage of it and let us know how you think the Seahawks have done in the draft so far. Now, I told you yesterday that I am not a big fan of the plus-minus grading system, but I felt like I kind of have to do the plus-minus grading system today because I find myself not wanting to give the Seahawks an A, but I don't want to give them a B either. I give them a B plus. The selections have been good for the Seahawks in this draft, but it's the priorities that have you – give this team a B-plus as opposed to an A. Doubling up on the offensive tackle, not having an answer at quarterback, although that they did not reach for this bad quarterback class either, there is some credit to be due there as well. So it's a balancing act. So, yes, I would have, I don't know, rather seen them take a corner or an inside linebacker with – one of these picks, doubling up at offensive tackle and taking a running back in those early selections, although you had good players with those picks, you wonder, could you have done better to take care of other needs as opposed to what you did? But nonetheless, you look at Abraham Lucas. Here's the scouting report according to our own Tom Downey. He says that Lucas is a guy more people should talk about, better in pass protection than the run game. 
He said that Lucas is uh, somebody that hasn't done the three-point stance too much other than field goal attempts, so he will have to learn that and how to run block more so as opposed to what he did at Washington State, but that's kind of the similar problem that you have with Charles Cross, who played in the same system at Mississippi State under Mike Leach. He has left tackle traits, which is a good thing, should transition over to that right tackle spot just fine uh, with that number five ranking for offensive tackles and number 53 overall ranking from Tom. Meanwhile, Kenneth Walker III broke out with the Spartans, leading the country with 89 forced missed tackles. Woo! How about that? Big player running back that fights through initial contact. Not great results in pass game and pass blocking, but those are things that can be taught. You can't teach how to miss tackles. So uh, I like that from Kenneth Walker there uh, on that front. Also, Charles Cross, really good in pass protection. The athletic traits you want, run blocking will need to be worked on, but nonetheless, a lot of potential with Charles Cross that you can be pleased with. So now... What do you guys think? Here's your chance to rate how the Seahawks did through their two, their day two selections today. Three picks, scale it one to 100. What is the grade you would give the Seahawks? Is it 100? Is it uh, 69? Is it uh, a 10? I don't know, whatever it may be. Here's your chance to put a number on it, how you think the Seahawks did with their day two selections here in the 2022 NFL Draft. You'll get an ad break while that ad's playing. Get your votes in and tell us what you think the Seahawks did with their day two picks. All right, let's go through each individual grade. Abraham Lucas, this to me is an A. This is a guy that I thought was a first-round talent in this draft. You found him in the third round, and you didn't bite on Malik Willis or uh, some of these other options that you could have gone with there when it comes to quarterbacks, although I am, I, I'm in an interesting position here because yes, I would have liked to seen the Seahawks get a quarterback, but I also understand too that they did their homework and realized, you know what, these quarterbacks aren't that great. There's just no clear direction. You didn't bring in Baker Mayfield. Now, what are you going to do? Are you really going to ride with Drew Locke? So that's where I find myself probably in a situation much like. Seahawk fans of what's next. Abraham Lucas, a good pick, but what about the other needs? Now, in the second round, Kenneth Walker the third, similar situation. Very good player. If you had to take a running back, if it's not Brees Hall, Kenneth Walker's a great pick. But, again, were there other needs to take care of first? Probably so. But Kenneth Walker, a good player. That's why I give this one a B. Boy Mafe. You needed an edge rusher, you took care of business, and you got a really good player that charts out fantastic. This one's an A because not only did you find a really good pick, but you fulfilled a need at the same time, a priority need. That's an A from me. So there you have it. Those are my grades for the Seahawks so far through two days in the draft. One more day to go. How will they do? We'll be all over it here on Seahawks Today. You can join us for more draft videos, and the way you do so is by subscribing to the channel. Seahawks Today by Chat Sports, and we have Seahawks videos each and every day. So even when you are laying in bed at night and you're dreaming about the Seahawks and can't wait for the season to start, you can watch our videos and make the time pass better. Maybe you'll sleep better at night. That's not a promise, but it's a suggestion. Follow us and subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash Seahawks TV, for the latest Seahawks news and rumors here from Chat Sports. Now, we've been covering the draft like no one else is here on Chat Sports. Day three coverage tomorrow. We will be all over it, youtube.com slash Chat Sports TV. If Rumble's more your thing, check us out on Rumble as well. We'll be over there Uh, covering every single pick from every single team, including your Seattle Seahawks. You won't want to miss it. YouTube.com slash ChatSportsTV. And to recap the Seahawks selections, Charles Cross at number nine, Boy Mafe at number 40, Kenneth Walker III at 41, and Abraham Lucas at 72 
for the Seahawks. Two offensive tackles, an edge rusher, and a linebacker so far as the Seahawks are halfway through the draft. Four more selections to go heading into day number three. So with that being said, what do you guys think the Seahawks need to do on day three? Who do you want the Seahawks to draft on day three? Here's your chance to drop a name and tell us in the comments what you think the Seahawks should do in day three, the final day of the 2022 NFL Draft.